growing up, I always heard, learn from your mistakes, or things like, if you do the crime, you do the time. And that implies that when we make a mistake, that there are consequences. And once we face those consequences, we've made up for our mistake. We've paid our debt for the mistake that we've made, accidentally, on purpose, maybe accidentally on purpose. And we can move on from that mistake. We can live our lives past that. Um, a mistake I made this time last year was when I was driving my son to school, I was going a little too fast in a school zone. And although there were no police there to pull me over, there was a camera. And it took a picture of the back of my car, and you could see my head, and you could tell that it was me. It had my license plate and everything. And I received a ticket in the mail. This made me mad. I always was careful. I went with a flow of traffic and kept my eyes peeled and obeyed the rules for the most part. Not only was I embarrassed, but if I had not had the money to pay that ticket, there are some more consequences involved that nobody speaks about, and they're called collateral consequences. If I'd not paid the ticket, interest would have started to build. As a matter of fact, there could have been a warrant out for my arrest for not paying fines. There are many collateral consequences in the justice system. People who have felony drug charges are never allowed to get food stamps or live in public housing with their families or get student loans. Those are collateral consequences. Those are consequences beyond if you do the crime, you do the time. And sometimes the consequences are so large that there's nothing you can do about them. One example of this is something called life without, life without parole. A crime committed when a young woman was 21 years old. She's in her 50s now with no possibility of parole. She was in my meditation class and I became very close to her and I saw her learn so much, just eager for information about how to move through the world. She told me a story about painting a wall and how someone came and jerked the paintbrush out of her hand. And she said, I learned so much about being mindful and being in the moment that I didn't react to that. I took a deep breath and I just let it go. Not only did she just let it go, she invited the person who had yanked the paintbrush out of her hand and scolded her for painting incorrectly to the next meditation class. But that woman, that woman who made that mistake when she was 20 years old, can never leave prison. When I was 20 years old, I made so many mistakes. I might not have gotten caught, and if I had, I do have the privilege of being somebody with white skin, someone with middle class values and representation. I can't imagine how different my life would be right now if I had been caught for some of the mischief and fun that I had had. Now, the situation that I'm talking about is different. This woman is in prison for a violent crime. I might have gone to prison for drug charges. But drug charges also have collateral consequences. It's not life without parole, but it is life without many things. Life without ever qualifying for public housing. So if I'm 21 and I get busted on a, drug, a felony drug charge. 50 years later, when I am 71, I am not eligible for public housing. Now that is a long time to pay the price for a mistake that someone made as a young person. Some mistakes we can never make up for. Some mistakes we can never learn from. Some mistakes... We make more than once. But there needs to be a way out. A way to make up and learn from and move away into a new life 
for the mistakes that are made by people who are incarcerated. We need to stop blocking that way with our criminal justice system. I urge you to look up collateral consequences online and find out more about what happens in your state to people who are violent offenders or drug offenders or sex offenders. How much is enough punishment? 